We've all been watching as the block has savagely turned on JLo with clips from her This Is Me Now special going viral, mocking the singer. But did you know that Jennifer Lopez has apparently been shutting down creators who've been using the clip? And one of those creators may have been gravely impacted. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor, and this story is bonkers. Yes, apparently J-Lo has been shutting down people who are mocking her, who are criticizing her fairly. Uh, the block has turned on her. They don't want her there. They are removing her uh, passport to the Bronx, uh, and they've been calling out her attempts to try to use the block to seem relatable and human. She's been dragged like crazy. Some say too far, some say justified. Either way, the fact that she's now apparently been shutting down these creators, this is a bad look, J-Lo. And now one uh, creator in particular, Kyle Marie, uh, Marissa Roth, uh, lost her income from this channel, and it turns out was having serious cancer treatment that she was using that social media income to pay for. We're gonna break it all down. Before I go there, sponsors, income, it's important, guys, and that's why I wanted to bring in today's sponsor, our go-to sheathunderwear.com. Guys, these guys are the best. Please support our sponsors. Check out Sheath Underwear. Fellas, I wear this underwear all the time. I do it every time. I'm not just a uh, sponsor. I wear it. I love it. It has become my go-to underwear. It is so comfortable. It is so stretchy. It is so secure. And yes, it's got a pouch for the twig and the berries. I know it seems a little silly. I thought so too, but my goodness, I only I live by these now, and you guys can get a pair for yourself or a special man in your life. Uh, head over to sheathunderwear.com, use code POPCORN, and get 20% off your order. And ladies, they got items for you too. Head over to the shop, check out the women's section. Steph, my wife, we they all wear these uh, bralettes, uh, the uh, boxer briefs for ladies. They got a lot of good stuff for men and for women, and I'm telling you guys, it is so damn comfortable, breathable, amazing fabric, good quality. You're gonna wanna try out a pair. Check out sheathunderwear.com. Use code POPCORN for 20% off your order. We love them, they stand by us no matter what we report, so please check them out and support our sponsor. It'll be down in the pinned comment as well. All right, but let's get to this topic. So what is happening? So as we know, TikTok's been dragging her. Well, Forbes is reporting uh, that yes, they went through and yes, apparently a lot of these TikTokers have been shut down. In the trailer, Lopez, for the greatest uh, uh, love story never told about facing the truth of who you are, the TikTok sentiment has been much backfired. Creators on the video sharing app insist that Lopez is misrepresenting herself. Uh, they think she's insincere, uh, exaggerating her working class background, as well as her connection to the Bronx. Uh, one clip with many mocking imitations. When she does that, I like taking my hair out. It reminds me of when I was 16 in the Bronx, running up and down the block, crazy little girl. Used to be wild, no limits, all dreams. Nobody was having this. Walk, crazy little girl. <laughs> nobody, nobody is buying it. It feels so forced, disingenuous, and I agree. Residents of the Bronx have been responding to the clips and various clips, calling her out, laughing, uh, going to her bodega order, calling her out like crazy. We've talked about it in our videos. Uh, but one TikToker who went to the same high school claims she waited for years for her speaking out, has been annoyed in silence, but accuses her of lying, using residents of the Bronx to look human. We attended that all-girls school in an Irish and Italian neighborhood. You weren't running up and down the block. Uh, lots of people coming forward. I, we're gonna go through this one in our live too. This blew my mind. Her shading all her fellow actresses do not miss today's live at 3 p.m. We're gonna go more into depth about this theory. Did she cause this other TikToker's death? Also more J-Lo backlash and other Diddy updates. Uh, but I, I wanna get to this part right here because this is where things get crazy. Discourse wasn't all jokes and memes. Several creators claim to have received copyright strikes on their TikTok accounts in response to their critical commentary of the greatest love story never told. Copyright strikes can greatly affect a creator's reach and potential earnings for TikTokers who make a living from the video sharing platform. The move was viewed as a low blow from Lopez's team. TikTok creator Kyle Marissa said that her account had received copyright strikes on every single video that contained footage from the greatest love story never told. As a result, her account is now permanent banned. JLo's narcissism single-handedly crushed the main portion of my small business, Kyle Marissa said. I didn't even have the opportunity to download or save 
four years worth of my content that have been viewed over a billion times and accumulated over 50 million likes. Kyle, Kyle Marissa has since created a new account, but lamented the four years of hard work that was put into building her sizable TikTok following of almost 700,000, having lost hundreds of thousands of followers from the ban. She told me that her earning potential has been severely impacted by the loss of her account, estimating that JLo has cost me more than four figures of income just for March, which affects her ability to access necessary medical care. Now, others have come forward. Uh, creator said that the received uh, Quint Rope also received a crit uh, copyright strike uh, being critical of her stuff. Um, uh, it was intended to satirize the overwhelming narcissism I witnessed. We should be able to share our views about content we're constantly exposed to without being penalized. It's time to question the celebrities being pushed on us and advocate for a culture that values open dialogue and free speech and fair use, which it is if you're repurposing the clip, if you're offering commentary and it's a small portion of a clip, it's fair use, guys. And TikTok doesn't have the same kind of rights. YouTube is better. It's not always good on YouTube, but it's better and you can push through. I've pushed through many of these clips. You see them on, these, on my channel because I'm able now, due to the success and your support, I'm able to push these companies back and say, no, take me to court then because this is fair use. But on TikTok, the rules are different. And as we saw here, this creator, Kyle Marissa Roth, died. Uh, she died, and everyone was, was trying to figure out what happened. How did she die? Uh, she had, has acknowledged that her career, her account was shut down. She needed help from her fans to try and keep going. Well, someone's come forward and shared this. This message is for J-Lo, Jennifer Lopez. If you're not her, you can just go on. But um, I would say you probably didn't know who she was because us little people down here you don't you know know who we are but um i know you know who she is because you got her account banned for copyright because she used a clip from your video um are you aware that she passed away are you aware that she uh, was battling colon cancer and you took away her primary source of income and um she had been struggling so bad financially because of losing her page, the main mon money maker that you took away. Um, I was just curious, you know, since you took the time, since TikTok is so important to you, um, and you need it so bad for your career, um, apparently, you know, that's what I'm thinking since you took the time to have her account taken down. <laughs> um, blows my mind. What is it, 400 million you have? Is, am I, is that correct? Well, it might be a little bit less since your documentary. Um, but anyway, <clears throat> so uh, I was just curious, could you maybe just say a word? Could you come out and just, on your little TikTok channel you got here, that you're verified on, uh, that since TikTok means so much to you, could you just maybe say that you, your thoughts and prayers are with the family or never or you hate that she passed and you're sorry she was struggling or never. you hate never that she it. lost her battle anything would be good i mean if if you had never known her and she was just like a tiktoker who her her niche was about you i would get it okay yeah you know why would you but you took the time to get her account banned because I know you know who she is. It would be nice to just hear you say a word. Just a word. I wouldn't hold your breath, but I would love to have Southern Straight Shooter on the show. We're going to try and reach out to her. Please come on. Uh, I don't use TikTok. I need to get back on TikTok. We're always trying to get on TikTok, but I'm going to attempt to see if we can reach out to her. We're looking into more about this accusation. Is this real? Did JLo really shut down the monetization to these creators? And did this creator really die through cancer? I mean, if this is all legit, this is horrifying. So you're not going to miss our live later. We have down the rabbit hole who also tipped me off on this. Lewis from Nerd Reporter has been following it closely. Uh, and I'm going to try to get some of these other experts. We're spending the afternoon doing some more research. Join us later today. Hit that subscribe if you haven't already so you get alerted. I'm going to, in fact, put the live stream there at the end here so you can go hit remind me. But hit the alerts, hit the like, leave a comment. What do you think about all this? Uh, this is crazy. I know this. a lot of people bashing J-Lo for not you know, the greatest reasons. And yes, this is a theory that's now going out there and it's wild. But what do you think? Is this a fair criticism? Should she should she say something? Should she have overreached? Did she or did Amazon do it and she had nothing to know, she wasn't aware? In which case she should come out immediately from a PR perspective to squash that and say I had nothing to do with this. I would have never and 
uh, you know, open. I, yeah, people are mocking me. I, I it, it's it, be relatable in that way. Like I found some of it actually funny, and I'm taking notes. Thanks for all the feedback. Like, own it. Uh, uh, there's a way to, to really do this right, but I can't see her doing it. Uh, I'm curious what you guys think. And please also speaking to sponsors and support. Check out sheathunderwear.com. Head over there, get a pair. Make sure you use code popcorn to popcorn ed at the end at checkout. You'll get twenty percent off your order. Use the link in the pinned comment down below. Appreciate them. Appreciate all you. We'll see you later today, live, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Let's talk more.